I'm Sandy Penland, MIT, and we're here at Hub Culture in Davos. And I'm talking to Yaniv Altschuler, who is founder of Endor. And Endor is a, a company that does AI analytics on encrypted data. Our conversation is about finance and data. So tell me the, the shorter thing that is so exciting. Yeah, so you know, everybody says that data is king. And companies invest so much money aggregating and accumulating this high quality data. But then when they want to use it, they lose control of it. It can get leaked. It can cause tremendous damages to the company. So companies today prefer sometimes to not even use their data, do not disclose their data at all, rather than, rather than risk exposure of the data. So what you're able to do is you're able to take different people's data and ask, well, from an AI perspective, what's the value of this data? Can you look at trends or fads or catastrophes, but without exposing the data, because you never decrypt the data, right? Exactly. So our uh, system can absorb data from multiple sources given to us in a completely encrypted way so that nothing from the raw data is getting disclosed. And then the data uh, sources can be fused together and serve as a basis for querying which means that third party can now query the data, get meaningful, actionable insights from the data without disclosing whatever it is that they are interested in learning and without the original data being ever uh, uh, disclosed. Okay, so let me give an example. So, so in 2008, you had all these banks, they had private trading data, uh, but they couldn't share data because it's the customer data and it's proprietary. And it turned out they were all doing the same derivatives and that led to the catastrophe. Could you handle that? Yes, this is actually a perfect example because when you let, you let uh, banks and financial institutes um, basically onboard their data while still maintaining a guaranteed privacy of the data, the centralized service can then detect correlations, trends, the emergence of bubbles without ever disclosing anything from the original data. So you could build a risk meter for all of these banks without them exposing their data at all, no privacy, localization sorts of worries, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I think that um, you can say that uh, it creates a non-zero-sum game where um, basically competing entities can collaborate without risking anything from their precious data, without infringing any regulation, and still benefiting from the aggregate amount of uh, the data that they all collected. Okay, that sounds fantastic. I think... Uh, Go to endor.com or the MIT site, trust.mit.edu, and you'll see all the bits and pieces and know how to follow up. So thank you from Hub Culture at Davos. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Hub Culture. <laughs>